Here is a neat idea I saw on YouTube a couple weeks ago, but we're kind of improving it with all we've learned about solar kilns. So this is how to build a simple solar cycle kiln. It's going to be totally energy self-sufficient, no power, can be placed anywhere, portable, and it's going to work because of the principles we use on our bigger solar kilns. So we're using an old concrete base that was a silo foundation. Got a roll of plastic greenhouse film, six mil UV protected, a 14 by 25 sheets, costs about $55. So we're just gonna cut off what we need. This we should be able to use four or five times. So we lay that across our foundation. So it's sealed from the ground moisture. And if, if there's vegetation underneath to keep the weeds from growing up in it, we start with a row of stickers on top the plastic on top of our foundation. And we're putting our nylon straps underneath it now while it's easy to get them in there. Now we just start putting the lumber on. We had a great big silver maple tree blow down in our yard. So I saw milled it and there's actually one white pine log also that blew down about 350 board feet. It's nine feet long, four feet wide. When we make the the layers we leave spaces between the boards so you can get vertical airflow in the pack just keep building it up the straighter you can keep your rows of stickers the better but this is easy because you can walk right around the pile now we put two by fours across the top and add four straps about four tons of pressure to hold this wood flat as it dries that really is going to be important so now we're going to wrap the plastic around this but we're going to leave the sides open so it can air dry so we just wrap the plastic around the top, make a nice uh, rolled up, it's a very strong joint, and roll up the edges. So here's the, the top joint, it just a, you know the straps hold the, the board flat so it's very strong. And just roll everything so that the water's repelled, roll it kind of inside out, stuff the ends in. Once this is air dried, we'll seal up the sides and kiln dry it and check back about September 1st for the next session.